their pilgrimage to Indianapolis is complete. Thousands of Catholics spent the past couple of months walking or driving to Indianapolis. News 8's Adam Pinsker tells us why the National Eucharistic Congress chose Indianapolis for its revival. Adam. Yeah, Phil, not only do they choose Indianapolis, but this is the first type of pilgrimage in the United States. The pilgrims came from all different directions, north, south, east, and west, that forms a cross over the state of Indiana. Zoe Dongus is among the 55,000 Catholics who journeyed to Indianapolis for the five-day conference that kicks off Wednesday. Her journey began in New York and lasted two months. Getting to walk through Beaver County, Pennsylvania in 95 degree heat for 17 miles. But Zoe and other pilgrims won't be resting a lot this weekend. Instead, they'll be spreading the word of Jesus through prayer sessions, exhibits, and seminars. National Eucharistic Congress events will be spread out between the Indiana Convention Center and Lucas Oil Stadium. We'll be packing meals here uh, for people, um, and so those meals will be distributed. Over 100,000 meals will be packed at the Congress uh, just to make a local impact on those who are uh, experiencing hunger. Vice President for Programming Joel Stepanek said the NEC chose Indianapolis because of its central location to the country and the world, even though cities like Chicago, Boston, and New York have larger populations of devout Catholics. I'm reminded of Denver. About 30 years ago, there was a World Youth Day there that St. John Paul II visited as Pope. And at that time, Denver was not really associated as a historically Catholic place. The panic says the NEC pilgrimage is a time for Catholics to revive their faith and expand their congregation. We have this incredible opportunity in the National Eucharistic Pilgrimage to unite Catholics from around the country. And honestly, any person of faith or any person who's interested in learning a bit more. And there will be a march down Meridian Street, sort of a mini pilgrimage, Saturday afternoon during this event. And then Saturday night, there will be a big, large-scale revival at Lucas Oil Stadium. It starts at 7 o'clock. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates. All right, Adam, thank you very much. IT Mate getting an inside look into the security plans for the Eucharistic Congress. Thousands of Catholics, as we mentioned, making their way through downtown, through these roads on Saturday. Organizers expect about 55,000 Catholics from the United States and beyond to be in the Circle City. This week, police have been working on preparations for a long time and say they're prepared. So this is unique. Uh, we have worked several major events to include parades in the past. It's challenging with our resources, but I think we've been planning on this for about a year with the NEC and our state police partners. I think we have a good plan in place, and uh, I don't foresee any specific major issues. No, at this point, we have no derogatory, derogatory information that would impact this event. So here's a look. The procession will take place Saturday, 3 o'clock. The route in yellow follows Capitol from the convention center, turns right onto Maryland, left on Meridian, till it ends at the War Memorial. The roads in red will be closed around the route from 2 to 7 p.m. Police say make sure you're prepared for those closures.